Hi, everybody. I've created this quick little video to help those that are having trouble trying to uh, look for obstructions uh, on their cell phone, and they can't get the uh, obstructions to, to operate properly. All they see is just a, uh, a blank space in the sky, but it won't do the uh, search or diagnosis uh, as you scan around the sky. I ran across this right away with my system. Um, someone suggested my phone might be too old. Well, that's partially right. So this is for those of us with older phones that can't get this system to do a search. Um, I just took some pictures, uh, pretty simple. First of all, uh, this one on the left, the Starlink, app in uh, Google Play Store. Uh, if you do a, a, a detailed search on this, uh, it shows that Android system 7.0 and up will work with Starlink system. Okay, uh, when you open the Starlink app, then you try to search for obstructions, you just get a blank picture, kind of like this. There's not, nothing showing in it. I mean, you can look around, but it, nothing ever happens. It never runs a diagnostic. The little green dots never appear. Okay, here's how to fix that if you've got an older phone. Up here in the corner is a tools icon. You click on this icon and it opens to this. And down at the bottom, you'll see two options, a guided mode and a manual mode. Now, I discovered that by default, older phones, and I cannot tell you how old, I can just confirm that around five years and older. I don't know, about four years. Don't know anybody that tested one with four years. But I've got an iPhone 7. I think it's five years old and it does this. The app works, but when you try to do the search for obstructions, that part won't function. So click on the tools. Down here you see guided mode and manual mode. By default, the older phones come up in the manual mode. Now that just says, that's what you get here. You just get a aerial view of the, of the sky or whatever you're pointing your phone toward uh, with the grayed out circle outside it. And you can just use this to just look for obstructions. It doesn't scan for them, but you can manually look for uh, obstructions in that circle. If that circle is all clear, you shouldn't have any issues at all. Now, if you wanted to do a thorough search because you've got trees out there you're afraid it might see, then you got to go into this guided mode. So when you open this, uh, when you click on this tool, this will open up and you'll find the guided mode is turned off. It's in the manual mode. If you flip on the guided mode, then you'll be able to get that search. If you can see here, I flipped it on and it started searching immediately and it went up to 25% before I captured this picture. Now the guided mode estimates the impact of obstructions in this location. It may not perform well on lower end devices. I don't think that means older devices, I just think it means cheap devices, lower end phones. I have a Samsung S7, and that's not a necessarily a lower-end phone. So it'll do this search until it gets to 100% as you move around, move your phone around, and cover this, this uh, sky area out inside the, the uh, gray. It will then, it'll analyze it, and it will then show you a report and a kind of a three-dimensional picture of the obstructions that may show around the edges of your uh, dish uh, area. 
So once you do that, um, you'll see what everybody else sees. The newer phones, by default, the guided mode is turned on. On older phones, by default, the manual mode is turned on, and you will have to go in and enable it. Uh, so far, it never remains enabled. When you close the app, the next time you come back, you have to re-enable it again. Now, that may just be a bug in the software, uh, but that's the way I found it works. All right. Uh, for those of you that may have been having problems with this, I hope it helps. You folks have a good day.